see you um, with the, the crazy choreography. Hey, right there, you know. Hold up. Guess I gotta hit him with the update. Really with it, I ain't got a pump fade. Kill a flow and hit him with the one take. Hey guys, and welcome back to Chrissy Comments, where we sit in my living room and talk about whatever the day has brought us. And today I am going to be talking about um, or something random that has popped up on my feed. And there are people right now that are doing dissertations about this girl, this big grown lady named Jojo Siwa. And I know the name, I really do, but this this lady, okay, or used to be young girl, um, I just know her image. Um, and now I see, now I see her image as from a, a kid to a big kid, now to a big, big kid, now to a big, big kid looking like, um, a damn demon out here. So I don't know what this Jojo girl is doing, but y'all, she is down bad. And I really, I feel bad and, um, I feel like the internet has been beating her up and here I go just beating her up a little bit more. Um, but I, I just feel like it is just something a little funny and lighthearted for us to take a look at. So if you know Jojo Siwa or have been around during her era, you would know that she is a, um, a past star of, oh my God, what was that show called? Dance Moms. Was it called Dance Moms? I don't know. So, was it on Lifetime? I don't know. Dance Moms or something like that. And she was a child star, became big off of that. And then she ended up being the face of Nickelodeon. And I mean, this girl, like I said, I know her image. Why I don't, I was not in her era or don't know any kids around in that her era, which was just really most recently. She is known for the big uh, pop glitter bow in her hair. So when you see a blonde head look little white girl with a, a side pony and a bow, um, that, you know, that's Jojo Siwa. And when I tell you like her stuff back, back in the day when she was younger, did numbers. Oh, it did numbers. I mean, one of her music videos is almost a, a billion views on YouTube. So when I see her today and I'm like, why is this lady like so gassed? I wanted to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it's called gay pop. <laughs> and they were like, what's that? Um, and why she's so confident. I'm like, oh, that's why she's so confident because she was a kid that really did do numbers and pull in money um, and was a child star. But y'all, I mean, the only issue is like, Jojo, you're not 11 no more, honey. What's going on? And I know she is trying to tell the world that she's not a little kid no more, but this ain't the way we do it. You look crazy out here in these streets. You look absolutely crazy. This is, this is, this is new for me too. Part of it's about life and choices you make. Part of it is about things that people have done to me. Part of it might even be about things that I've done to people. Um, so it's, you know, it's a, it's a little bit of concoction. And then the video, you know, is all about how karma can't escape her. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> So Jojo has a new single out and apparently this is like her, you know, rebrand to come out and say, I'm a bad girl. Um, and we've seen this rebrand before, you know, you got Rihanna, good girl gone bad, Miley Cyrus and her bangers era, Christina Aguilera and dirty and Britney Spears with I'm a slave for you. So we, we've seen this before and Jojo said, me too. You know, she was in the classroom going, me too, teacher. I'm not sure what your team is doing, but there is a way to rebrand. We, I definitely agree with uh, the premise of Jojo is no longer a child anymore. She's no longer running around um, in a big uh, big bow in her hair. We, we need to, she's got to do other things with her career now. And that that is okay. And I understand how that can be so hard because you have a decade of this person doing this one brand and you're trying to pivot her to something else. But the issue is, is that they're not pivoting. They were just like, you know what? Um, you know how we put all those sparkles and glitters on Jojo and do her hair real crazy and all, you know what? We're Instead of it being pink, we're gonna do black, okay? Just to show that Jojo is uh, an adult. You know, it's like, what? Like, what are y'all doing? It's been so cool to watch people compare it to uh, Miley's bangers moment. Um, Cause for me, that's exactly what this is. For you're becoming an adult. You're becoming a musician. You're becoming an artist. You're still a traitor. And 
I just find this so interesting because not that long ago, she was just on Dancing with the Stars. And if we look on JoJo on her season of Dancing with the Stars... So JoJo would have been about 17 years old during Dancing with the Stars season 30 in 2021. But yet we look at her and she's in a side pony and bow. Like, oh my God. Like, I'm low-key feeling like this was a little bit of child abuse. Like, why are you doing this to this little girl or, or this big grown woman? It's just absolutely ridiculous that that girl was that old and you guys still decided to give her the that costume and persona and look, especially when she clearly was eagerly trying to get away from that with saying that she had a different sexuality. And on Dancing with the Stars, she had a same-sex partner. It was another female, which was like the first time or something in the show. And I think that's where you kind of start seeing like a different side of JoJo. Um, but it still gave this frilly, over-the-top, bedazzled um, persona. And for that girl to be that old and they still decided to do that persona, it just did her an extreme disjustice. It's JoJo and you all are invited to my Sweet 16. It's going to be the best day ever! Hit it! It worked when she was on Dance Moms. It, it worked when she was on Nickelodeon and she was a kid and doing pop music and pop videos. It, it worked, it, it really did. I think they did a great job with her as a kid and her branding. But as soon as Jojo hit a uh, five foot two, we, we probably should have stopped it right then and there. I don't know why we kept continuing putting a side pony and a bow in the child's head. As soon as she hit five foot two, Five foot four. She looks weird gyrating around. She looked weird when she was a teenager gyrating around, and she looks hella weird now. So I, I just feel bad for her because the team that she had, while they did a great job in her younger years, they did not do a good job with transitioning her in her teenage years. Like, why are we trying to transition her now? We should have transitioned her as soon as she hit like 12, excuse me, like uh, uh, 13, 14. We should have started to move her to the tween phase, move her to the teenage phase. Like it's like with JoJo, they skip the teen. They they act like she wasn't a teenager and kept her as a kid tween. That's weird, bro. The child has a, a bow in her head. It's weird. So now we have this big grown woman gyrating around in glitter and pastels and 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 and, and licking on women trying to prove something and it's it's coming off it's just it's not resonating with the crowd if you don't talk about some adult stuff because you grown now girl if you don't talk about some adult stuff some things that are relatable to your new audience or the audience that has also aged you're not gonna make it so um that that grown lady that grown lady running around in all those costumes, she's down bad. Um, I hope she can get some therapy, find some friends her age, and really just calm down, settle down, um, and appeal to her audience that has grown up with her. Like, you know, your audience, they're not 11 anymore. They grew up. They're not wearing bedazzled jackets anymore, JoJo. They're just not. So you shouldn't either. Um, and I, I hope, you know what? I hope someone from her camp is listening and I hope they'll take this advice. Thank you for uh, uh, listening to me rant and rave about the foolishness and debauchery of our world. And I will see you all on the next video.